Welcome to Chapter 10 on Human Resource Management. The big takeaway that I want you to focus on for this chapter is on page 191 of your textbook. Um, this chapter talks about all the things to do with human resource management, including compensation. So one of the compensation methods that's used is what's called merit pay. So I want you to focus on that in this chapter. And merit pay is a pay for performance system where the pay increases in proportion to your performance contributions. And this is a payment method that's often used in sales. So the more you sell, the more your pay increases. Um, and there are advantages and disadvantages um, linked to a pay for performance system. And those are also listed in the textbook on page 191. So some of the advantages are that it sends a positive signal to high performance. So people who are high performers, you know, obviously this is an incentive for them and it sends a positive signal to them. Employees typically work harder. So a pay for performance like merit pay system usually increases productivity because people generally will work harder when they know that their pay is attached to their productivity. Um, it also provides a bonus pay uh, incentive. Some of the disadvantages of a merit pay system is that it sends a negative signal to poor performers. Employees don't always understand the system for merit pay. It's often not clear who assesses the performance or is the individual who's assessing it biased. Um, we also want to make sure that the system is fair and equitable, and sometimes that's a disadvantage. Often, too, we need to have enough money to support it, so that can be a disadvantage, and to make sure, too, that it's meaningful. So some of the times those are some of the disadvantages. So the big takeaway, again, for this chapter is to know what merit pay is, and then um, some of the advantages and disadvantages of merit pay.